Hi everybody, this is MJ with Off Grid Online. I just wanted to welcome you back to part 4 of my solar panel build. In this episode I am going to show you um, how the encapsulant turned out, how clear it is, and uh, how well it actually encapsulated the, the uh, solar cells. I'm actually very happy with the, the uh, results. Uh, I did have a couple of uh, glitches in in the process, but I will disclose that to you as as uh, we get on with the video. So let's get started. The encapsulant did come out really nicely. It's pretty clear, just like the the product says. You can see my hand through it, and all of this has encapsulant on it. It came out really nice. I was very happy with it. The only downside which I would recommend to you guys to watch for in the future is don't allow your panel to be exposed. A bird landed in this spot. You could see what it did to my encapsulant. It was it was not completely cured when it did that. And I tried smoothing it out, but it didn't come out really nice. So just thought I'd point that out. The only downside on the other the other part of this was I do have a few air bubbles in it, which they seem to be clearing up on me, but maybe not so much. Bubbles like this right here, um, they're not horribly noticeable. They don't affect the performance, obviously. They, they still produce a pretty significant amount of voltage. Um, I, I don't believe that it does anything other than cosmetic. Um, the, it just doesn't look good to me. But other than that, the panel came out really nice, and I look forward to doing my next one with a uh, you know, much better outcome. Um, I'm going to use nicer wood. I won't use stuff like this here. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, here's a couple of the observations that I made with this encapsulant. Um, it came out really nice, like I said. I, I was really impressed with it, but the, the problems I did run into it is the, uh, the four-day cure that it was supposed to do didn't happen for me, and it's probably my, my circumstances. Uh, it was pretty cold when I, when I uh, attempted this project, and I kept it indoors inside of, a, a, you know, inside of the shop, and it did not have any heating in there, so it was just as cold in there, if not colder than it was in the surrounding area so it took a lot longer for it to to cure what I ended up doing is after I think the fifth day it was still wet uh, it was starting to get tacky but it was it wasn't um, cured by any means I set the slow horses outside and put it in direct sunlight and um, the uh, the bird incident was actually while it was in the shed apparently a bird got inside of my shed and landed on it so and you know just for you guys I would recommend um, putting some kind of glass on top of it while it's curing. Maybe not sitting it directly on your panel if it has the, the encapsulant on it, of course, because you don't want to have to rip it off. But um, I ended up putting it on the sawhorses with a piece of glass over the top just to protect it from any birds that may have landed on it. And it actually cured within a day and a half, I guess you could say. So uh, that did really well for me. Uh, just thought I'd point that out. Other than that, I'm really happy with it. I'm actually getting ready to do another panel, and I will probably document how I built the frame, and this time, obviously, I'll, I'll take my time and do the frame really nice so that it doesn't look so junky. And so until next time, this is MJ with Off Grid Online. Please rate and comment below, and tell all your friends. Have a great day.